look at data and we try to predict where market will go in the next few sessions right we don't try to uh, look so we are a very uh, data dependent uh, program we don't look at uh, news we don't look at what the experts say we don't look at anything except three data points three very simple data points charts open interest analysis and FIDI data and so far so good it's been going very well I think uh, if you've been regulars here, uh, we've been long since 16, 800, 900 territory, and that's a very nice uh, 1,000 plus points to capture. Anyway, let's get started with uh, Kiala Grammar, right? So, Kiala Grammar, let's go to First things first, uh, yesterday we said that it is, uh, uh, the, the thing to do is holding on to all the longs and initiate longs for the next expiry till Nifty reaches 18,000. and if 7700 breaks everything is question i mean we've, we've just been buying right we've done nothing else so now that all of this is panning out what next is the question though? so I'll, I'll tell you what is the good news right if he has broken the 100 day moving average also which is of course a very strength of a uh, sign of a very strong index and it's also about this recent swing high which is also nice what i'm a little worried about and what i'm a little difficult to predict let's say is this trend line right this is a trend line which i drew connecting the bottom of covid so let me just adjust it a little bit so this is the bottom of covid somewhere around here is the bottom of ukraine and this is the this is where market is right now right uh, see of course, this can go back into the trend line and all. It's all possible. But uh, so let me just uh, make sure that I'm connecting the bottoms. They should have some kind of a magnetic tool for connecting the right bottom, right? Right. So I think that is the right connection. We have a bottom here. We have a bottom here. And we have a bottom somewhere around. Now we have a top somewhere around. Now this is approaching this uh, 18,000 plus zone where the COVID trend line which we drew connecting a lot of past bottoms exists, right? And that is what is really worrying me because this bottom is Ukraine. This bottom is COVID. So this is a fairly long running respectable trend line. Here, price action becomes extremely critical, right? So I'll just mark the point also. Uh, I need to connect my tablet. Okay, so the point I'm talking about is this, this area, right? See, this is the, this I think will be the resistance, right? Somewhere around here. I mean, maybe it is 18,000 plus 18,100 or something. But this is likely to be a resistance, of course. If it breaks, it goes back in and we can see like an all-time high getting formed, you know. Or what can happen is from this resistance, we can have a dip till here. But whichever way it is, now that we are approaching that uh, resistance, we have to be careful about uh, this entire thing, right? Uh, so that is uh, Nifty. Now, if you look at Bank Nifty again, so look at this candle formation, right? This is a very good bullish candle formation. Why? because there was a zone of value or zone of support around here which is 42,600 ish levels right like this blue line that i have drawn then there was a doji which settled above the zone of support which means there's a support then there was a bullish engulfing which is the second candle which i am circling now right the bullish engulfing is this candle Right, these two put together, these two put together is the bullish engulfing, right? Which means that market is bullish. And today we have a close above the bullish engulfing candlestick formation, which means more positivity, right? So tomorrow again we might see continued bullish momentum. So Bank Nifty is also looking strong. Dollar is uh, uh, dollar came all the way to almost eighty-one uh, fifty today, and now it seems like oh, I should have got out today morning, but okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we will see 81.50 on spot. Uh, but again, dollar looks uh, like it has uh, taken a resistance on this trend line, this blue trend line, which we are circling here, right? And it seems like it has uh, gone down from there, right? 
so dollar is also looking weak after this right of course this is the 200 ema there will be some support here so dollar weak nifty strong bank nifty strong everything looks like uh, good times right uh, also if you look at open interest chart it's very early to say anything about open interest given we are the first day of expiry but uh, 7800 is a strong support 7900 is a strong support uh, 7800 you can see is towering support here pcr is one which is bullish uh, if you look at fii dii data also fii sold uh, 35000 calls but more importantly they sold 70000 puts also so this is uh, uh, bearish but this is more bullish than the other thing is bearish so net net bullish right because around 30k or they are bullish net this is a mildly negative uh, number 300 crore sell but this is a positive number 1700 crore buy is any given day on stocks right so futures mildly negative stocks uh, wildly positive uh, not, not mildly wildly in the sense ekdam positive so this is a uh, very good positive and also the open interest in index futures is fairly low uh, 20 gates fairly low so net net it looks like uh, the my verdict is this right see i think there is maybe another 100 200 point upside and ex- i expect some resistance there now the question is how do you want to play this are you the person who also wants to take that last uh, 200 uh, point upside and wohi wo bhi leke jayenge types person or are you the kind of person who says ki yaar jitna milna tha mujhe mil gaya i am going to say tata bye bye here right pradeep is saying head and shoulders yes pradeep that's also a fair point uh, now um, uh, the point is uh, do you I, i mean or let me put it this way right i'll get out of everything at around 18000 and say boss jitna milna tha mil gaya uske baad if it goes higher right then at the point it breaks here we can reenter right you don't want to hold it here thinking that boss ye bhi toot ke upar jayega i mean you can do that but you can choose not to do it right or you can just say ki okay yeah it has reached 18050 i am happy with whatever i got okay thanks bye and you can leave right um the problem with the second approach is uh, i mean probably the first approach is if you are going to hold till this happens and it might not happen right because it is also possible that right after this nifty can just go boom right because if a lot of people including pradeep who is on this program is saying that there's a head and shoulder getting formed here right of course uh, if the shoulder gets formed here then it can go down that's a fair point uh, but uh, right i mean basically my point is at this point either it can go aise upar or it can go aise niche so instead of trying to predict kya hoga why don't we just book our profits at 80000 be happy see what the market does and if the market still goes up upper once this trend line is broken and it goes in we can go above right i would rather want to play it that way than to play it uh, uh, you know hold it expecting 80000 will break right uh, but up to you it depends on the risk appetite but i would get out above 80000 i don't want to handle this stress of your i mean you you get my matter right uh, uh, 1000 points is good to capture any given day we can be happy and get out at 80000 and see then what the market does right uh, the good news positive very very good news though is that bank nifty is uh, not showing any signs of any kind of slowdown so let's see where the first realistic resistance on bank nifty is the first realistic resistance on bank nifty is probably the previous all time high right so where is that it's somewhere around 44000 uh, so that is what another 3% right so bank nifty if it goes up another 2.5% it is the previous all time high getting tested 1000 points right 2.5% yeah so i think bank nifty can test the previous all time high maybe at previous all time high again right so all time highs have a tendency to be resistances uh it goes as a and i mean you know this is the all time high and it can consolidate for some time and break out or it can just come down from the all time high right but a test of all time high seems very very likely that is 44000 so i don't think you should be shorting here 
uh, all time high seems very likely to test so uh, net net right my uh, read on this entire situation is that key uh, okay so again one last thing if you put a gun on my head and say boss you can't get out right there's no way you can get out you have to hold something and you have to uh, you know uh, uh, you have to take a trade and you can't get out you have to hold it till uh, for two months right then my trade would be long like basically if you force me ki boss you can't book profits you have to either stay long or stay short and you can't get out for the next two months i would definitely be long because i think this is going to break that bag nifty all time high i think it's going to go back into the channel etc but then this is my opinion please don't take it as any kind of advice right again please take into the consideration that somebody is holding a gun on my head and saying boss tere ko trade lena hai ye so if somebody says ki boss tere ko kya trade lena hai my answer is yaar mere ko nahi lena 18000 pe main nikal ke bhag jaunga right but if somebody says ki nahi nahi ab bhag nahi sakte you have to stay in a trade then i'll be like okay i'll stay long now couple of uh, you uh, you are queries travel with rahul is asking i have a query why do and why don't i look at dow dax nikki etc because see uh, so i mean that's a personal philosophy uh, somebody who was a very good trader who i used to work with long time back he used to say ki yaar jis cheez ko tum trade kar rahe ho us cheez ko dekh ke trade karo ye mat karo ki tum dow dekh ke india trade kar rahe ho ya china dekh ke india trade kar rahe ho ya dollar dekh ke euro trade kar rahe ho that's not the way to do it and i decided to stick to it right see and another thing which i personally believe is you should not trade uh, looking at too many things right because it's just noise after a point i think you should just have two three things to look at and just stick to the system and ultimately right charts open interest fi data these things don't lie and they are good enough for uh, i mean what are we trying to do in this game we are trying to get things right seven or eight out of 10 times right right and when we are right we want to make sure that we have good bet size we double down and carry the uh position right so if this is your philosophy then it doesn't really matter whether you look at three good things or 100 other indicators uh personally the problem with looking at too many things is that let's say you go wrong right you will always find some indicator which says ki nahi nahi stop loss mat maro yaha se to bounce hona hi hona hai but if you look at two three things then the moment two of them go wrong you will be like nahi nahi chalo stop loss marte nikal jate too many things will always give you a reason to hold on to your losing trades which is why i don't i don't personally you know believe in that uh, philosophy um so um uh, shreyas i got the mail i have to you know uh, take some uh, time to reply to that um uh, I'm just asking: Should we use U.S. markets? I mean, whether you want to look at U.S. or not is your uh, thing. But I don't because you are also thoda cheating here, right? Ki I've seen so many people doing analysis. Uh, 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 thank you, Anurag, for the comment. So uh, my uh, uh, problem with uh, uh, analysis looking at U.S. right? Yeah, yeh to cheating hai na ki. I mean, you didn't have U.S. data to look at uh, at 3:30 in the afternoon, and we are assuming that we are doing this thing. Uh, uh at 3:30 in the afternoon then if we are in that philosophy then we can't cheat by looking at the us is the upper kal upar jayega i mean that's like that's not the right way to analyze so prithvi is asking risk is the lowest is the low, last long time will it have any effect in the uh, uh uh long term uh so here's the thing right uh vix can keep on dropping to any value i've seen uh eight and a half nine implied volatility in the may of 2017 right so yes it does make option selling very unattractive but it also means that you can buy call options for the breakout trade right you're getting to buy cheap call options for the breakout trade so i think low wix is an opportunity rather than a lot of people say low wix hai option selling mein maza nahi aa raha to theek hai na let's do option buying and if we are wrong we lose so little by doing low wix pay um option um buying right uh, <laughs> thank you ajay for that comment but anyway this is our read on the market for today we'll see you again on uh, sunday night i'm uh, traveling so I w- we won't be doing kelagra market on monday night i mean monday is a holiday so uh, yeah it's a long weekend also so uh, we'll resume this on tuesday so till we meet again please take care and keep your capital safe bye